For decades, traditional automatic transmissions, often referred to as slush box automatics, have been associated with comfortable cruising but not necessarily with high performance driving. However, Toyota is out to change this perception with its Experimental Direct Automatic Transmission, or DAT, and the company's chairman Akio Toyota, a passionate race car driver, has given it his resounding approval. Akio Toyota's enthusiasm for the DAT stems from his personal experience in the Super Taiku Racing Series. He highlights that the technology is a game changer, particularly for those who are still mastering the art of performance driving. Toyota's own experiences reveal the significant time advantages that the DAT offers on the track. He notes, One thing I learned in Super Taiku is the difference in shifting between myself and pro drivers. When changing gears manually on a straight, I lose 0.2 seconds. With two changes, I fall nearly a half a second behind. With the DAT, there is no time lost when shifting, so the gap between myself and the pros was smaller than usual. I can just concentrate on braking and accelerating. This technology not only brought Toyota, an enthusiastic amateur, closer to the level of professional drivers, but also showcased the DAT's potential to revolutionize the driving experience. But let's hear from professional race car drivers. Hariyoki Ishiura, a professional driver, underlines how the DAT outperforms standard automatic transmissions on the racetrack. He emphasizes that a regular automatic transmission feels slippery on the track, lacking a direct connection with the gears. In contrast, the DAT excels with its direct nature. It locks in form the moment you step on the gas, providing a linear response to throttle input. This seamless connection enables drivers to shave valuable seconds off their lap times without any lag. Ishiura highlights a common issue with traditional automatics. They often don't anticipate the driver's need for a lower gear until the throttle is engaged. This delay in downshifting can cost precious time. The DAT, on the other hand, is primed with the right gear precisely when the driver needs it, offering a significant advantage in terms of responsiveness. So, how does this whole story work, and what makes it different? Well, while Toyota hasn't unveiled many technical specifics about the DAT, they refer to it as an 8-speed sports automatic transmission. In a previous discussion back in 2016, Toyota introduced an 8-speed direct shift automatic transmission featuring a torque converter with a hydraulic circuit for smooth operation. It also included a lockup clutch for direct transfer of engine power to the gears, enhancing both the feel and efficiency of the transmission. Although Toyota hasn't explicitly connected these two transmission units, it is possible that the DAT builds upon these principles. Now, Toyota's goal with the DAT extends beyond creating a powerful automatic transmission. They aim to enable more people to experience the thrill of driving. In Japan, where statistics indicate that 70% of drivers who received their licenses in 2022 can only operate vehicles with automatic transmissions, this technology promises to democratize performance driving. Driving a manual vehicle on the track can be challenging even for experienced drivers. Techniques like heel and towing are not easily acquired and mistakes can lead to vehicle damage, which deters many from trying in the first place. The DAT's purpose is to spread the joy of driving, according to Toyota, by making high-performance driving more accessible. Currently, Toyota does not have immediate plans to bring the DAT into production. The company asserts that there is more development work to be done before consumers can get behind the wheel of the GR Yaris equipped with this innovative transmission. Nevertheless, early feedback from professional drivers like Ishiura indicates a positive reception, raising hopes for an exciting future where more drivers can enjoy the benefit of a direct and responsive automatic transmission. Ultimately, redefining the way we view automatics in the world of high-performance driving. Now, I will say DCTs are pretty good, but they are still a bit sluggish on the downshift. I have driven a few DCTs and like when you're just like chilling and then you put your foot down, it takes a while to kick down. And then if you're in like full auto mode, even in sport, it does feel sometimes like it's a gear too high and then it has to go down. So I do understand what the race car driver talks about there, but DCTs are pretty good and they don't feel sluggish when they are in gear. But I do understand with the, the sludge box autos, my 335 was a sludge box, I made it a manual, and in gear performance with the same power, it feels stronger in each gear than it did with the auto. 
Um, but you still do lose time shifting. So I think overall the automatic is faster, but it does feel a bit more sluggish in gear. Anyways, before signing off, I just want to say I have driven DCT cars, sludge box autos and manuals. And for me, even though the manuals are slower, the engagement makes it more exciting. And because of this, I prefer manuals. I will say though, that I would love to try and experience this new box and see if it changes my opinions on the matter. But at the end of the video, please let me know what you guys think of this new technology um, and what you guys think of like automatic versus manual transmissions in general. Which do you prefer? And um, if this was a thing, would you choose this over the manual transmission that you can get in the GR Yaris? I, at the moment, I think I'd always take the manual. Um, I know it's slower. It will always be slower, but it's just so much more fun. Let me know down below if you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys did like it, you'll most probably like most of my other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you'd like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?